good afternoon everyone I hope everyone is great uh, welcome all you new subscribers uh, uh, today we're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff uh, mainly orchids some frankincense trees and yeah kind of a mixed bag here uh, anyway I finally got this guy this is the uh, Cattleya amethystoglossa um, I put it in another pot because the other pot was just with all that rock just Oh man, it was just screaming heavy, so, you know, I'm saving my back a little trouble, and uh, yeah, I put it in this pot, which is a mixture of granite, the uh, granite rock, and lava, so anyway, uh, that's going to be a lot easier on my back, so anyway, we did that, I had to move this guy up here, and repot it once again, because squirrels knocked it off of the table, so... Anyway, hopefully that didn't do any damage to it, but it looks good so far. That is uh, Cattleya gaskeliana cerulea. And we're going to go out to the other orchids and check some stuff out here. I'm going to have a cup of coffee first, so we'll be back. <laughs> I just woke up. It's afternoon. I slept in, and I needed it. Okay, so these frankincense seeds here have started to germinate. So far we got about seven or eight. Looks like I'm going to have a whole forest of these things if they do really well, so. And I'm having my coffee as of course. And there's a little Boswellia nana, smallest of the species, doing really good, really beautiful. And um, anyway, I got some orchids I want to show you. Let's go look at those. Well, after I slurp down some coffee here. Okay, this is Cattleya beringiana, variety cerulea. Look at those big Honkin growth. Come on, let me spin it around. We got two more over here, so that's a total of five. They're still way down in there, but they're going to be absolutely massive. I'm expecting this fall we are going to see a huge bloom on this. So, and it's growing so well. Alrighty, let's go check out some other stuff. Okay, here's the Selogeny pandurata, looking all magnificent in its pot, or basket. Now we're getting another, yet another growth down in here. So I'm suspecting one of these guys has to be maybe a bloom spike. Now we can only hope, right? But, uh, yeah, it's growing really well. I'm glad I got into these Selogenies. They're pretty cool uh, orchids. Got a lot of lush, beautiful new growth on this uh, frankincense tree here, too. That is Boswellia neglecta. It's just doing fabulous. Now I've slowly been uh, switching out my orchids here into lava rock. So as you see it, this one here, I did that one in the box. Did this one here in the box. That's the uh, Cattleya violacea muse. Even Terry told me, he said, yeah, he plants his in lava, the violacea muse. So um, yeah, it ain't broke, don't fix it. So yeah, we moved it into uh, lava rock as I did this uh, standard uh, wait what is this no this is a Cattleya dupriana variety cerulea so anyway yeah this was uh, in bark and the bark was looking kind of shoddy so yeah we put it in a little bit bigger of a pot and put it in lava rock since it's uh, kind of an inert material so all the mounts are doing pretty good I even watched uh, what was it Rick's Rick L's video the other day about having some issues with oak now mine are on oak also so I'm gonna be keeping an eye out on these guys uh, to see if I notice any issues so far I haven't um, but time will tell and if I see issues uh, you know we will address that immediately so uh, and get them on new mounts or whatever I hate that because you know that's going to slow down the uh, their growth and all that getting reacclimated to uh, a new mount and all that but you know whatever you got to do you got to do to save your plant it's all about the health of the plant so uh, that's on cork 
that's the Catlea luteola. So, the only other mount I'm having issues with is this guy here, the Dendonosmum. No signs of new growth, but it is has been throwing out roots, so we'll see. So, um, and of course, this guy is still in bloom. This is such a great orchid. I love it. The blooms last forever on it. This is the Ancestor Kylas doing well, chucking roots down into its mount. Gonna be a slow day. I just finished watering up here this morning, or well, this afternoon. Like I said, I slept in a little. Okay, here we have the uh, Bratonia nigralensis throwing out a lot of new growth also in here. Love, love, love that plant. You know, some orchids, they have a I'm glad I got you aspect, and some of these guys, like this one, are definitely one of those. Uh, the Bulbophyllum carunculatum. I'm really loving that orchid. Look at that big new growth. So, in between doing video clips and whatnot, and um, for the video here, I, you know, sat down, did some repots. Here's one of them. Uh, this is a... Um, uh, prepare to tie your tongue in knots. Uh, Operculicaria decarii. This is a Madagascar plant, so we repotted that guy. Now I'm debating on white uh, lime rock for that or granite top dressing. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'll surprise you. And I also think this Selogeny fembriata is going to shuck out some blooms. Now, uh, Roger told me that this blooms for the in the fall for him. I don't know. Maybe, uh, perhaps it's a variable species. I don't know. I've never grown it. So if it blooms, it blooms. If they just sit there and then bloom later, that's cool with me too. As long as we get some blooms, you know. Um, oh, yeah. Another one here. Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis is throwing out a new growth. And I do believe this guy here has got one coming underneath it, too. So, super excited about that. Um, also, the Ionopsis Atricularoides. Man, that's a long name. Why do you guys have to make these names so darn long and difficult? Anyway, did the bloom spikes that just keep extending and extending and extending, so... I will probably be an old geezer by the time I see blooms and, you know, who knows. BC Maikai is cranking out a lot of new uh, growth also. Now sometimes, once this gets a little bit more mature, it's bloomed twice a year for me. So we, we'll, we'll see, you know. Oh, man, it's hard get. it's easy getting down, but it's hard getting up. So the blooms on the blue pea are slowing down, so that means I gotta hit it with some fertilizer. These guys like to feed. And old big mama here, she's cranking out a whole lot of new growth. So I think we're gonna have an awesome bloom season on her. Let me spin that around. All right, I've got down on my knees once. I'm not doing it again, but there's like a ton of growth coming everywhere on this thing. Now the Pacopodium lamaria is all leafed out and growing. Here's my other uh, Boswellia elongata frankincense tree from Socotra. It has grown, oh, a couple inches here. So... That's from seed. Frankincense tree. I got a mow. Here's the other elongata. It's almost eye level with me. Now 
Well, one mishap happened. Okay, something's flopping around in a bucket of water over here. Give me a second. Okay, it was just a lizard that fell in a bucket of water. It was trying to get out, so I helped it. Anyway, yeah, this fell out of the tree. The uh, screw come loose, and that's what happens when wood rots. So nothing we can do. So, But what we can do is get this off of the mount and get it potted up. There's a nice strong growth coming over here. Hard for me to turn this. But anyway, yeah, we'll get this addressed here. So here's a Catlia Warzowitzii. So no sheath in this one. But we got another one coming here. And let me spin her around a bit. And we got another another one coming right here. So Okay, Todd, knock it over. Yes, I talk to myself. They understand me there. Okay, here is the Lelia Lobata. Update, it's starting to shuck down a lot more roots into that gravel. Real happy about this plant. One, two, three. Four. Now there's a fifth one. Oh, it's back over here. Okay. Ugh. And five. Five new growths on that. Real happy with the progress on this plant. Hopefully it will bloom. Um, I got it in bloom. But uh, this and the Wars of Witsy Eye. Um, I've read they, they like a lot of light, so I've been actually uh, giving these guys full sun from morning uh, till about, oh gosh, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. So uh, they seem to be loving it, and they're not burning. So uh, be that as it may, we'll see what happens. And here's the uh, passion flower I started from seed. It's just growing like a mad weed. I started this last uh, summer. Mainly this plant here is a butterfly plant. Uh, I planted it not really for the fruit or uh, whatever or necessarily blooms, but so the uh, caterpillars can eat, and they do, trust me. So, uh, yeah, anyway, and the bougainvillea is... Uh, Bougainvillea, whatever, is blooming here, all crazy, and I'm going to have to prune that back eventually, because it's a wrangle of a mess. Euphorbia millii is in bloom, as always. It stays in bloom. Oh, and the frankincense tree cuttings that I took, well, two made it, and two uh, didn't make it, so uh, not too bad. Uh, this one here is with rooting hormone, and this one here is without, but if I can get you up in there, it's growing. It's, they're actually really growing, grow pretty fast, so. And I also see a repot here in the near future of uh, Dracinia cinnabari, or the uh, Socotran dragon tree. Oh, a little damselfly on my aloe africana and we're probably going to do a repot on this the uh, dendrocissio socatrana this is the craziest plant i've ever grown and the peruvian apple cactus are taking off finally so i know they're rooting because i see growth happening up in the crowns And the Encyclia Bractessens is about to head out with its blooms, but maybe we'll get a better blooming next season. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up here, and uh, you folks have a great day. Thank you for joining me in the garden. Um, get out in your gardens and make things bloom. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, love and peace and all that jazz. Have a good one, guys.